Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here bringing you a brand new playthrough, Axiom Verge 2. The direct sequel to Axiom Verge. It was really interesting because a lot of people, especially people who were fans of Metroidvania, were expecting this game to be announced eventually. And then at the Indie Direct uh, this morning, it was actually announced just all of a sudden. It was a little crazy. Uh, but in case you don't know, and this, by the way, is a little bit of backstory while I talk about this game and, and all this stuff, you know, my quick intro and stuff. But the original Axiom Verge came out back in 2013 for various consoles, and as of today, it is still, you know, it's commonly regarded as one of the best Metroidvania games of all time. Usually found up there in, like, top 10 lists of, like, you know, Metroidvania games up there with, like, Hollow Knight, Cave Story, and many others as well. And a lot of us, including myself, were waiting for the direct sequel to finally come out. And today, on Wednesday, August 11th, that's finally true. It has come out. Super excited about this playthrough, seriously. Super excited. So as you can see, there's a little bit of backstory here. If you do not press anything on the, uh, on the title screen, then this will actually pop up. Just so you get a little bit of backstory. I'm not going to read it, but you can, of course, see it in the background while I'm talking. But it's about to be finished. Uh, so yeah, really excited about this, like super excited because I love Metroidvania games, a lot of you already know that of course. I play so many on my channel, you are always free to look at that, you know, that section of different playlists that I've done. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started with Axiom Verge 2. I will tell you all, this is actually a blind playthrough. I have played through the original Axiom Verge on my channel all the way, and I do know the game pretty well, but Axiom Verge 2, this one, Completely blind, and I mean completely blind. Okay, input configuration. This should all be fine. The controls for Axiom Verge 1 were actually very phenomenal, uh, really well made. So I'm kind of just seeing, uh, it looks like it should be fine. Um, I'm just going to say apply and that's it. Video options. Okay, so we can do stretch or exact black borders. Um, I mean, I'd rather try to fill up the entire screen, I guess. But it's when, it says when docked. Okay, yeah, well, it is dog right now. Uh, audio options, sound effect, music, I'm going to keep that there. Accessibility, enemy damage multiplier. Multiplies the amount of damage enemies do to you. Oh, that's interesting. Player damage multipl multiplier. Okay, this is something that, like, if the game gets super hard, you know, because sometimes people want me to progress through the game faster, so sometimes I may actually, I could change this, but that's only if, like, I actually run into problems, you know? Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that random sound you just heard in the background. My alarm went off. Game speed multiplier. Multiplies game, multiplies speed for the full game. Okay. And then flicker. Um, attempts to reduce flashing patterns displayed in game. I mean, it was set to off, so I'll just keep it at off. And then finally, language, English. Okay, so we're good, we're finally good. Let's go ahead and finally start this hopefully beauty of a game, just like the original. All right, we're gonna do a new file here. First one, and here we go. I will remind you all, this is completely blind. So if you do actually want to help me out through this playthrough, then sure, you know, I'd appreciate the help of, you know, letting me know, like, if I miss certain items, certain pickups. I'm gonna do my best to, of course, 100% the game. I say my best because I'm not gonna know exactly, you know, the first time you can get this pickup or that pickup. I'll eventually come around and get everything, but, um, you know, not from the beginning. I may miss stuff at first. Stan, please wait with the chopper while I get the power online. This place hasn't been occupied for over a year. Will do, ma'am. Come when you're ready. Alright, I can finally move. Uh, let's see. It controls pretty similarly to Axiom Bridge 1 with a little bit more um, flexibility, it seems. Okay. Jones Station, Antarctica. So we are in Antarctica. Awesome. Okay. Uh, seems we can't go up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. But there's not really anything. We can't do anything right now except just jump. I uh, tried pressing all the buttons. Well, actually, I mean, we can do this. That doesn't do anything, though. Alright, let's move on to the left. That's the only way we can go. We can enter this here by pressing up. Take this. Ice Axe. A climbing tool used by mountaineers. Has a good heft. Could probably use this to break through wood, too. Damage 25, cooldown 15. Uh, okay, sure. Let's check this out. Okay, so you can also, you know, crouch, of course. It's pretty nice. 
Can't break that though, so we gotta go the other way. Now we can actually break the boxes. Now, I don't think you get anything from breaking these boxes. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, there is also, what is it saying? Oh, that's the flashlight, yeah. Got it. I believe it's the flashlight. I guess I can just avoid those. I don't need to be doing that. Okay, so now we can go into this door, whatever this is. Hmm. It's very dark in here, so if we press... Yeah, see, the flashlight does help to get him out. It's the right stick, at least on the switch. You, have, you literally have to press the right stick. Um, okay, let's keep going. So far, nothing too crazy. And then this is just going to take us to the other side. Alright, that, that's fine. So I will say right now, I don't know if the main weapon in this game is not going to be a gun. Because in Axiom Verge it was all about guns. This one, you have literally a melee attack as your primary weapon. Hopefully there's also no like... Oh, that's not a platform? Oh shoot. Yeah, hopefully there's no fall damage. I, I really doubt there will be. I mean, I fell from that height and took no damage, so... Also, it seems like you start with more health in this game than the original Axiom Verge. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Let's go this way first. Okay, there's actually pretty much nothing. I don't think I see anything. Okay, it's a little tricky to... There we go. So you can naturally... Ooh, what is this? Weekly meeting notes. Snow Cruiser needs new tires. When at a Garbanzo, Shep wants to know if post-Arctic Garbanzo is safe. He used him needs fuel for cargo chopper. And if hearing voices at dig site, wants to get checked out at McMurdo. Okay. It's one of those, oh my god, I can't even tell you how many of those notes there were in Axiom Verge 1. And they were all like useless for gameplay, it was more so for just lore. <laughs> it's an old Ansible, why would they have one of these here? Hmm. Okay, I haven't even pressed the pause menu to see. Okay, so there's map. Uh, map shortcut is minus. That's good. It always should be in Metroidvania games. Inventory, we can check here so we have our upgrades. That's for ice axe and our flashlight equip. So you can actually, you, you can have so many different things equipped, which is amazing. Like, that's so cool, actually. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. What, what, what the hell is wrong with me? Does, does this just go back? Yeah, it does. Well, at least now I know. I mean, I can just go through it pretty fast. But, yeah, the the whole, okay, so you have to be pressing up, yeah, just press up on the staircase, because other, uh, if you don't press up next to those stairs, uh, I, there's a lot of confusion and the game kind of doesn't know what you want to do, so you have to press up specifically. There's another thing there, and that's actually all that I can do, just to go in this door, okay, what the heck is this? Got the lights on, awesome. That's all I needed to do? Are you serious? Okay, fine, fine. We'll just, uh... Guess we'll go back. Wait, hold on. I, I don't trust myself. Was that seriously it? Seems like that was, because you can turn him back on. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. Well, why would I do that? Okay, so with the lights on, um, I think we can just go all the way back now. Oh, these boxes, uh, end up reappearing. It takes four hits to break boxes, by the way. The axe is pretty weak, it seems, even against, you know, just regular boxes. He's actually not here anymore. Huh. He's completely gone. That's still off. Okay, well, getting the lights on was something we had to do to make some progress, obviously. But I wanted to make sure that now that with the lights on, I didn't miss any, like, specific, you know, areas around here. That could have had something. Hmm. There's clearly nothing. And there's nothing over there on that one, so we'll just have to keep going until we find... Yeah, this place looks suspicious to be honest, but I couldn't really figure that out. What was actually in there. And there's the room over there. Alright, 
we gotta do this. There's a secret door past the three bookshelves on floor one. Who is this? Why did you send me here? No response. Okay, I'll play your game for now. Secret... Okay. On floor one. Wait, how do I know which one's floor one? I mean, this looks like floor one. It's gotta be floor one, all of this. Secret passage behind a bookshelf on floor one. Did I see a bookshelf on floor one? But this is back to the beginning. Hmm. Got a lot of figuring out to do, but that's just gonna take me back to the beginning. That's not actually... Okay, let's look for a bookshelf. Let's look for a bookshelf. None of this looks like a bookshelf. I mean, is this? These are shelves. We'll figure this out. We got this. Um, nothing in there. Oh, that's a book. Oh, that's a shelf. Okay, got it. It didn't look like a shelf. I mean, I don't know. All right, now we can enter this place. Oh, there's that glitchiness thing coming back in this game, huh? <laughs> From Axiom Verge 1. Alright, uh... Let's go to the left. It's dark in here, so the lights only work for the other section, but not actually this section. Alright, so there's another door there. See, I honestly don't know if breaking all these could have something hidden. But I'm not seeing anything. Just being paranoid, you know? Alright, let's go. Do not enter. There's also this, but I can't... I definitely can't make that, even though there's nothing up there. There's just two platforms. Alright, we are in a do not enter section now. What is this? Nothing. Hmm. Kind of trying to look for secrets, you know? Huh. Let's look at our map. How much progress have we made? Not that much, honestly. Not that much. The hell was that? Hello? Have you come back for me? Hey, is someone else down here? Yes, but I need help. Please, I'm further down. Okay, I'm coming. This might be a trap. Watch out. Okay, there was nothing here. Nope. Gotta keep going. Oh my god, it is very dark. Uh, seems like there's two ways? Yeah, there's this way. Which has a computer that's not working. Okay, that's actually a dead end. Alright, well that's good to know. That, you know, now we don't have to think about the other alternative path. We know this must be the correct way. I'm just checking every corner because we know that there's something. That's an item. I'll take this item. What is this? Compass. A lapis lazuli pendant that is lit up on one side as a pointing like a compass. Now here's an interesting gadget. Did you find the compass? Good. You can use it to locate me. If I can figure out how to use it, you mean. Uh... Oh, those are notes. Okay. Compass, compass. Hmm, so it's not something you can actually put anywhere, it's just something like a passive upgrade. Okay, so... Alright. It appeared on the bottom le left, I think that's the new thing that appeared. What the hell? I was not expecting that. Oh god, it's freezing. You're close down, do you see a pot or urn? I can't see a goddamn thing, give me a sec. Is it this way? Let's see if it is. You also can't even jump from here. 
You can't jump in the water. The water is rising. Look for the urn. It will help. Okay, I'm looking. There's the urn. There's the urn. I see it. But oh, by the way, you can aim your flashlight. If you just go up, you can actually aim your flashlight. But there's a grating in the way. Uh. How am I going to get out of this? Oh no, we're dead. I mean, I can't... I can't do anything. So it's all like just a cutscene. It's all scripted. I actually press every button just to make sure that I, I didn't actually game over there, but no. So this is where it ends? I guess it's just as well. I deserve this. Oh, this is introducing the... Oh, what happened? You found my urn. I was able to rebuild you. Just what? What the hell are you? I am an arm, an intelligent collection of machines, and a part of you now. Oh, shit. <laughs> my name is Amashilama. It is an honor to have a new wielder. I've got to get out of here. Find someone who can get this thing out of me. Alright, let's pick him up there, but we can't grab it, of course. So that's, uh... Am I jumping higher now? I think I'm jumping higher now. Anyway, let's look at our inventory. An intelligent enemy that's healed you and now lives inside your head. Why does it feel like I'm jumping higher now? Anyway, these are save points here. Um, so, they look pretty similar to Axiom Bridge 1. It's like a little hill thing. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll just go... Okay, now there's a bunch of music. Oh, there's actually enemies here now. What the hell is that? Why do you have like three beams of light coming from your face? Okay, dying two hits. Uh, Alright, well, let's uh... Let's see, so if I go back this way... Actually, I can't go back that way. Wonderful. Okay, I know where to go. <laughs> but that would just go back to the first place. But I need more power-ups first. Like, I can, like, you know, actually explore places right now. Yeah, that's the thing. In Metroidvania games, I'm usually in the very beginning of games. There's not much you can do, because you barely have any power-ups, you know? Um... Shoot, I let him hit me. That was, that was actually a lot of damage. Wow, that's a little crazy there. What was the deal with those drones? They don't look like something Hamon Corp would have made. They were sent by the Lamasu, a sort of machine designed to protect against interlopers. It is likely what you destroyed, or sorry, what destroyed your people's settlement. What the hell is going on here? Hmm. Alright, well. I guess I can go either left. Yeah, because I can't go up there. Either left or down. I'm gonna have to take a, a choice. I'm gonna make a choice here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go down there though. Oh, this thing. Oh my god, this mechanic. You need to have like a certain gun to make it pass there. Obviously right now I don't have anything, so I can't even do anything with that. Can't go up there either. There's a lot of places you can't go yet, and that's usually what happens in these games, right? In the beginning, you just get teased with all these things everywhere. And you're like, I want it. I want to go this way, I want to go that way, but you can't. What the hell is this? Those things, was I hitting it? Yes, I was, but they're very tough. They have about five hits. If I can avoid them, that'd be great. Here, there's another two ways to go. That's just water. Not to alarm you, but your new body is too dense to float. However, you no longer need to breathe, which should help. Whoa! It just gets weirder. What the hell did she do to me? Huh. Well, I can't... There's not much I can do, though. That's strange. Very strange indeed. Alright, well let's uh... Let's go the other way. 
Whoops, totally missed that jump. So here there's another way uh, up along this pathway. And another one of those things blocking. I just want to get a pickup. I need a power-up so I, oh yeah, speaking of power-ups. Maybe this will help. Gishru, similar to a boomerang but, but glistening with nano-machines. And you can aim it up. That's exactly what I need. Awesome. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the thing. Got it. That's what actually deactivates the thing over here. Yeah, this thing. So this is now going to take us back out the other door. At least to that side. Okay. I mean, if you can avoid enemies, by the way, I mean, just... Usually that's what you want to do in Metroidvania games. If they're not directly in your way, there's not really a need to, you know, fight them all. Um, okay, so now that we have that, we can actually go to the thing that was closed up here. Okay, well you fell, whatever. Screw you. I'm not about to deal with you. So there's this door that I can obviously go through now. But, there was also a door up here at the top. This boomerang is pretty cool. I mean, it has some decent range. It's also interesting noting that it looks like the game is a heavy departure from the first in terms of like... Because the first one was all like guns and stuff. Like, it was like so many different guns, you know? Oh, actually, you can't go that way. Never mind. It was so many different guns. Um, and this one, so far, not a single gun. It's just the pickaxe and then the boomerang, which are very different than, you know, Axiom Verge 1. So that's pretty cool that it's a very big departure. Um, okay, here there's uh, only one way I cannot go up there. Oh shoot, I did not expect that. Oh my god, no way, no way. Okay, you gotta jump over and like that. What is this? Shesh Sheshkala. Grants improved climbing ability, allowing you to grasp ledges and pull yourself up. I am Sheshkala. Thank you for freeing me from my slumber. Another one? The arms are many, are many, wielder. Sheshkala can help you surmount high ledges. Interesting, okay. Oh, wow. It's the power grip from Metroid. Sort of, okay. What the hell? That guy's just freaking... No! It's gonna land right on me. He almost hit me, dude. He almost hit me. Alright, let's, uh... Oh my god, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. So one way I have one thing I haven't figured out is how to actually heal, because not a single enemy has to drop health. In the original Axiom Bird enemies would drop health. Um and I don't know okay, never mind, they do. <laughs> I was just getting unlucky, I guess, with the drops. Um, okay, so all this is just yeah, I don't want to go down there. No! No, 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 no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna freaking die. I didn't. I thought I could actually climb that ledge, but I can't. Okay, so as soon as we gotta go up, I'm actually gonna die already. Jeez, I'm taking so much damage. Uh, what is that? That looks bad. Okay, so this is just going around basically, because I can't go that way. So. But I'm glad I got the ability that I needed, which is climbing ledges. Alright, well then. So with the ledge climbing ability... What we can do... Actually, can't I... Well, it's something up here, sure. What is that? This is... Apocalypse Flask. Augment your powers and abilities by one point. Apply with the skills menu. There's a skills menu? Oh my god, it totally is. Physiology, combat. Um, upgrade your body and physical attributes. Upgrade your attack attributes. Increases damage with a handheld weapon. Increases your attack speed. Increases damage with a projectile weapon. Uh, increases speed of thrown weapons. What about this? As an additional 50 health points for doing this. I don't even care. I don't even care if that's not the smart thing. We're just going to do it. We'll get some more health. Sure. Alright, so it's actually very nice in terms of how you upgrade 
you know, your character in this game. I like this. I like these kinds of upgrade systems. I also don't know if I'm even going the right way or, you know, not. I don't know where this is going to take me. What is this random platform for? I don't know. This is going... I need the map. Sort of around? Hmm. Well, I mean, it is going to a completely new place. It seems. Another one of those things is closed. Whoa. Let's go up this way. Oh my god. Let's just grant you health, it seems. Okay. And they don't hit you. So they're just for health. That's really nice. Okay. Oh my god. Fell all the way through. I didn't see anything there. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Let's keep going. I don't know where the heck I'm even going, but... I'm going to really far places. More of these things. Uh, there's a door right there. Cannot go in that one. Here's a save point. We'll definitely save, and that's full heal too. Hey there! Oh, thank god, I thought I was alone here. Oh, did you stumble upon your special or our special fright elevator? It's a gift that keeps giving. One way taken, unfortunately, it seems we're still trapped here a while. Trapped where exactly? The locals, the Sagiga, call this place King Kinger. It's a different universe from Earth. Dr. Haman built a portal here, but was afraid what would happen if anyone found out. She discovered a whole alternate world and kept it a secret. Why? Unfortunately, she disappeared years ago, so we can't ask her. And it turns out the locals, or their machines, I guess, didn't really like us poking around. Not many of us survived. Please tell me you're working on a way to get back home. Not me specifically, I'm just an archaeologist, but the site manager, Warren, is up at the observatory trying to build portal going back. Trying to build portal going back. Where's that? Only the top of the mountain just ahead. But listen, we've got to be honest. We've tried a hundred different ways to get back and nothing works. Be prepared for failure. I'm Indra Shadari. I'll reverse, I'll reverse engineer and build a portal myself if I have to. Maybe I should be more optimistic. It's just hard with everyone gone. My name is Malka, by the way. Nice to see a new face around here. Okay, so I guess we can try the buildings uh, before we do anything else, because there was this building. Wasn't there also a way to go... I can go back to the right as well. Let's check out the building first. Let's see what's in here. It's a note. Dear Ernest, I know you will probably never have the chance to read this, but I'm writing for my own sanity. I am happy here. Looking back, it is hard to believe I ever worried so much about all the bullshit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so one thing I haven't mentioned of, um... Of, uh... The Axiom Verge games, and the, the first one did this too, uh... They're, they're just out there with their language, and I know that somebody, like... I know some of you probably don't like watching videos with, like, with, like, YouTubers cussing all the time. But if it's part of the game, I mean, that's more understandable, obviously, right? I've literally gotten comments of, you know, some some people saying like, Oh my god, you're cursing too much. I'm out of here. I'm not watching your videos anymore. Like, okay. But, you know, this game is just straight up with that. Alright, um... Oh, Jesus. So, this seems like I'm going back. Like, backwards. Okay, well there's... Oh, god damn it. I should've just... Okay, go, go, go! What the hell? Get some water here. Oh man, this, this weapon actually sucks. I Maybe I should start upgrading my weapon again, you know? Or, instead of health, I mean. Okay, so I cannot go up there. Let's go down here then, sure. Oh my god, it fell all the way. That may have not been a good idea. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. What is that? Damn it, it still hit me. Hmm, what is this green thing? Oh, I can't even go. Can I break this? Yes, I can. Can I hit that? I cannot. Okay, so it seems like... Wait, how do you... Oh, okay, I see. 
So I'm there. Apparently there's still more that I can do. Are these things enemies? No, they're just in the background. Okay. Actually was not sure about that. Well, let's go to the left. What in the world is that? Oh my god. Alright, well. Hmm. Oh, I can't even go that way. Sorry, sometimes it's hard to tell what's in the background and foreground because they all look pretty similar. Let's go. I mean, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, so there was nothing along that way. Can't hang on to that. I can hang on to this, though. And I can go all the way around this place. See, see what I'm talking about? It's right there, it looked like none of that was actually, like, that I could stand on, but I actually could have. It's kind of weird. Okay, that just goes back over there. Is that an enemy? I can't even tell. Here's another save point, at least. That's good. Those are definitely enemies. Okay, and here's a door. Oh, we can't even go in that door. Okay, well... Whatever. And we can keep going to the right. I mean, we're gonna have to. I, I don't know if we'll find a pickup over here. Hopefully we do. Oh, no, 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 no. Move. Jeez. Okay, my flashlight's already on. What the hell is going on here? Dude. Oh, jeez. Those things did way too much damage. So... Maybe I shouldn't be over here yet. <laughs> Wait, what is that? But I can't even make that. I can't make that jump. What is that red thing there? Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Run. I found something. I don't know what this is, but I found something. What is this? Liru enables you to move and jump more freely underwater. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Oh my god, that's a that's a really big uh, jump right there. Okay, so this looks like a dead end. Like there's nothing else, but I'm glad I came over here to grab this. Oh yeah, no, I got... Oh my god, I, I could do a lot of water exploring now, it seems. Uh, yeah, it seems like that's... Can I make that? Yes, I can. There's more up here. Is there something up there? I don't believe there actually is. Oh my god, I, I can't... I can't see! How do I... Shoot! Oh, I did, didn't mean to fall away! Wait, something over... No, there's nothing over there. Okay, never mind. I thought there was. How do I... Okay, go like this, up... All right, well, made it out of there. Awesome. Oh my god, I'm about to die. I need to, I need to save again. I think it's yeah, it's directly to the left. All right, let's kill that thing. We're taking the save point, and we're actually going to end the video here. These videos are going to be 30 to 35 minutes each or so, somewhere around there. We did some pretty good exploring. Uh, having some great pickups and stuff, that's nice. So before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day. Oh, they just run away.